Yep. 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 <laughs> Welcome back. We're road tripping today, hitting the river. Gonna be targeting some, hopefully some salmon, maybe some steelheads a little bit early in the season. So the plan is, I'm gonna plan to get to the river before sunset, before it gets dark, so I can do a little bit of fishing tonight. Um, I think I got about an hour more drive, and then I got about two hours before sunset, so that'll give me probably another hour and a half, maybe, of daylight once I get there. Um, so, not a lot of time, but hopefully enough time to get a few casts in and, and maybe hook something. But anyways, so we're gonna fish tonight, and then we're gonna take rest, and then fish tomorrow morning, fish all through the day tomorrow, and then take another rest, and then fish the next morning before heading back home. So that's the plan for this trip. But yeah, we'll see how it pans out. It might be, might just depend on where the fish are. We're gonna be fishing a couple of different rivers, I think. Probably multiple different spots. We're gonna be chasing down these fish to see where we can find them. So it's gonna be me and my buddy Ense. We're powering up to the river. I got my rods, got my bait, got food, got my cameras. I don't know, hopefully that's all we need. So anyways, We'll see you guys at the river tonight. Like I said, we only have a little bit of time to fish tonight, so I'm gonna be in a little bit of a rush, but hopefully it pays off with a nice little cromer before the sun goes down. So anyways, we'll see you guys out there. All right, we made it. Just hiking up to a little spot up here. There's a lot of people downstream from me, so I'm gonna try to get away from the riffraff a little bit. This is my first time river float fishing since Canada. Really? Yeah, why don't we fish here in the morning and then yeah. drive there in the middle of the day. Okay. okay. Alright, we're staying in the DHF Corolla Inn tonight. Nice and comfortable, got my pillow, got my blanket. Gonna get some rest. Long day today of driving, a little bit of fishing, not much catching. So hopefully that changes tomorrow. I'm gonna hit it bright and early tomorrow morning, set my alarm for 5.30. We'll see you guys in the morning. All right, 5.30. It's pretty early here. I actually slept fairly well, but time to go catch some fish. We'll see you guys at the river. I'm gonna toss this in here. Mm, barely. Little guy. Sucker in the nose. Small. Little steelhead. All right, first real kind of target fish of the seat of this trip. That's a little steelhead right there. Half pounder, super chrome though. That's a wild steelhead. You can see it's got the adipose fin there and everything. We'll give him a quick release. Don't want to put him through any more stress. 
or plus hook. Yeah, this little half pound steelhead could release. Another little half pounder. Ooh, look at this guy. Oh, just came off. About to say, look at him, he had a big scar on him, but anyway, another little half pound. That's why we use barbless hooks there. Just such an easy release. Better for the health of the fish. Oh! <laughs> uh. That was a fish for sure. That one was for sure a fish. We missed that one. All right, gonna take a little break here, get some breakfast. Been fishing hard since the uh, sun came up, but to get here, we had to do a little bit of off-roading. You can see we're not on a paved road, we're on a little bit of a dirt road. And I noticed something underneath my car. Check this out. Yeah. Well, Kroll is not really built for off-roading, but we're getting it done. All right, let's get some breakfast. So this is my go-to road snack when I'm like camping or sometimes you know snowboarding on the road somewhere somewhere where I don't really have access to a lot of stuff yogurt and granola it's got protein it's got I don't know what it has I feel like it's good for you it's definitely got protein I'm not a nutritionist but I know it's good for you pour the granola right into the yogurt cup not into the trunk of the car. Get that in there. So just a little update. Ensei caught one salmon. I think he lost he lost at least one other one. So on for a few seconds. I think I might have missed one. And then I caught those two um, like small steelhead. So definitely not a wide open bite, but there's some fish here. So the reason we're fishing this section of the river is we're fairly close to the ocean. And unfortunately, at this time of the year, we can't keep any of these big uh, salmon. I think you can keep one uh, jack, which is a fish under 22 inches. Um, but they should be nice and chrome, good fighters. And if you happen to catch a nice steelhead, that'll be a good chrome fish. Later on, we're gonna head upstream, fish some more upper reaches of the river and it should be more action, but obviously if the fish are farther up the river, they've been in the river longer, most likely. So probably not as great eating, but hopefully still nice and crow because of the upper section of the river, we can still keep some adult salmon. So maybe take one home for the smoker. But anyways, first things first, we gotta catch one here. And we're going to take a brief moment away from the fishing in this video to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Strapino. Now, Strapino is a company that makes a wide variety of different types of straps like the ones you see here. For me personally, you know, I do a lot of kayak fishing. And one thing that probably doesn't come to mind immediately when you think about kayak fishing is the transportation of your kayak. So anyone who owns a kayak is going to need some types of straps, whether you're car topping your kayak or putting it in the back of your pickup truck, you're going to need some way to secure that kayak and make sure it doesn't fly off in the middle of the highway. But the one thing that sets these straps above any other straps that I've seen on the market is they're retractable. So when you take the straps off the kayak and you're storing these or getting ready for your next kayak adventure, there's no hassle, there's no mess of having those straps laying all over the place. As you'll see here, once you take them off the kayak, they retract into themselves and they're very easy to manage. So 
Whether you're a kayak fisherman or any other outdoor enthusiast and you're looking for some new straps to tie down your precious cargo, look no further than Strapino. If you're interested in these particular straps, I'll leave them linked down in the description, but they also have a wide variety of other different options that fit your needs. Thank you again to Strapino for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back out to the river. Oh, no, that's a steelhead. All right, the late afternoon session was kind of a fail. Didn't really have any real action. I had a couple of bobber downs, so probably some small fish or could have been, even been just the bottom. But the early morning was somewhat successful. I mean, I got a couple steelhead, really small ones, not exactly what we're looking for, but you know, some action in the lesson. And, and so he got a nice salmon, he got a nice steelhead, and I think he lost another salmon. So, um, so yeah, that was kind of what we we're looking for. Unfortunately, it didn't happen for me, but that's okay, that's fishing. So now we're gonna take a little break, go get some lunch, and then we're gonna try another spot upriver a little bit. And as an added bonus, this new section that we're gonna fish now, um, if I do catch a nice chrome, fish that I decide I want to keep that's a possibility up here so hopefully you know maybe I'm saving my luck for up here we'll catch a nice fat chrome salmon oh oh they're jumping down there too see them all jump down there so we just pulled up to this little spot and the fish immediately have been busting all over the place. I think, I mean, I just got my first cast and I think we've already seen like at least five fish jump just in this little section here. So there's definitely fish here. We just gotta figure out how to get them to bite. Toss my line right in there. Oh. So yeah, the fish are definitely here. We just gotta figure out how to get them to bite now. The water is definitely clearer up here. We're upstream now of where we were this morning. So that may play a factor. Um, but, you know, regardless, gotta figure out a way to get these fish to bite. Think a salmon would hit a live frog? Oh, I just got bit. I got bumped. Could have been a small fish though. Oh, there's a steelhead. There we go. Yep. Little guy. Oh, there it goes. Steelhead. You want some help? Seems like there's quite a few steelhead in there. <laughs> what do you think? Is that a hen or a buck? I can't really tell. It's hard when they're small. Yeah. What do you think? It kind of looks like a buck. Yeah. I'll just let it go. Yeah. Oh, oh wrong way, dude. Ooh, I'm going for my spinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Oh. Yeah, little guy. No, no, I got it. Oh, it just came off. Mini steelhead number two. I'm using this little spinner, orange spinner, nothing fancy. I think it's made by Blue Fox. But yeah, the steelhead seem to be up here in this little fast moving water. Uh, where Ense got that salmon was a little bit downstream a little bit here in this deeper pool. So I might try that in a little bit, but I kind of wanted to land one of these steelhead. See if I can get one to the on camera here. Oh, it's 
water's so clear. Every time one hits it, I can see the flash. I was like top water almost. Yeah. No, steelhead. That was so cool though. You can see him hit it. Yep, another wild steely here. Nice wild fish. You can see it's got the adipose fin there. Yeah, this one's a little beat up. I'm not sure if it's a sea lion or bird or maybe even a salmon. Salmon kind of chase these guys away when they're, you know, protecting their their eggs. Anyways, we'll give this guy a quick release. We'll do the release on Instagram. So, been doing a few more Instagram reels. I don't know how I feel about them yet, but anyways, if you want to see the release on this one, you can check that on the reel. By the way, I think that's the first ever steelhead that I've officially landed on a spinner or any kind of artificial lure like this. Oh, got one? Yep. Nice. Big one. <laughs> it's not even really. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I have to go chase this one down. Uh, I'll help you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Big boy. This might take a while. Yeah, he's just cruising. Right? Oh, oh, it's a good one. <laughs> uh oh, no, no. That's the one we've been looking for. All the way back to the other side of the bank. Yeah, you haven't even tired him out at all yet. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he realizes. <laughs> no. I don't think it's funny, huh? Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Alright, taking these off. Get in the water. Oh, he came off! No! Oh, no! Damn. He's gonna pop off. Too many head shakes. That was a big one. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, I think it's a salmon. Let him take it, it should be pinned pretty good, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. He's just going and going. Uh 
Uh, I'll, we'll see. I might have to walk him down. That's right, you can get, put your line in. This one, this is gonna take a while. Can't stop him. Yeah, I'm after that one. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can get him. Get him. Like, I don't know, where's a good spot? Yeah, it's kind of steep here. Um, I think we can, maybe I'll try to bring him back up to where we started if I can. Off. Oh. 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 Yeah, I just spit the hook. Alright. Get back in there. Oh man. So hard to keep them on there. Just one one head cheek. That's alright. That was fun at least. We're over yeah. two now. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that was a good one. I thought I had him good too. Yeah. Oh well. Oh At least the man. The turning on. Yeah. Good yep, got him. Oh no! Yeah. Come off? Yeah. Oh man. 0 for 2. Oh, that was a big one. There you go. That looks like a good one. Nice. Thanks, man. We land one. Yeah, finally. <sighs> All right, well, it's getting dark here. Get my last few drifts in here. Man, I had my chances. I definitely had, well, for sure I had one good one on. I had another bite that was on for like less than a second. And I think I had a couple other hits, bobber downs that just never got hooked. But that's how it goes. We're using barbless hooks here as mandated. So, never a for sure thing. But we have one more chance at it tomorrow morning. I think I'm gonna come back to this spot here and hopefully, hopefully, we can get a salmon. What's up? Bear? Yeah, I saw like a black shadow over there. Bring a flashlight? No. Should have brought my should have brought my headlamp. Yeah. Oh. Man, we grinded hard today. Fished all day from sunup till sundown and then some. But tomorrow's our last hope. Hopefully we get them tomorrow. Good night. Last chance. Let's go get him. All right. I think we're gonna get it today. I just have a good feeling. I'm gonna be a little bit strategic about how I run my setups through here this morning, since it's just me. Um, first, I'm gonna run the bobber through. 
first run through, do maybe three or four casts worth. And then after that, I'll run the spinner through. And then after that, maybe I'll go back to the bobber. But anyways, I really have faith in the bobber because that's what I got bit on yesterday from Big Fish. Um, I'm pretty sure the two solid salmon bites that I got were on the bobber. I didn't really, I mean, I caught a lot of, or I got a lot of hits on the spinner also, but a lot of those were small steelhead. Um, and I don't really think I got hit by any big steelhead on the spinner, so, or big salmon on the spinner. So anyways, that's the plan for now. Let's see if we can put it into action. Little one. It's all right, I think I can get it. I think I can get it. Yeah, thank you though. Coming right in now. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Sure, if this is a steelhead or oh, I think it's a steelhead. No, nope, little jack, little king. Oh. All right, a little bit small, but it is my first king of the trip. This is just a little jack, as they call him. I think technically a jack is anything below 22 inches, maybe depending on the river. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyways, this is just a little jack. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is a a buck or a hen, but anyways, quick release. All right, that's a wrap. The tough part about fishing the river is I know the fish are still there. I mean, I don't, you probably can't see it. I don't know how much I got in film, but they're jumping every at least couple minutes. So I know the fish are there, but once the sun comes out, middle of the day, it's really tough to get them to bite, almost impossible. So the real chance I had was yesterday evening. That one fish that I hooked, man, that was a good one. I needed to land that one, but that's how it goes. But at least I got one. I got that little jack today, plus I got you know, a few steelhead yesterday and still a lot of fun regardless. So still a successful trip. But anyways, I'll have to come back again another time to get that big salmon. God. I even survived the, I was telling Ense, like we survived the first two jumps all the way out of the water. Hopefully you guys got to see some of it on film at least. Um, but still spit that hook, marvelous hooks. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun filming this one. A lot of fun editing ahead for me, but in the past, now that you're watching, if that makes any sense. All right, I got a long drive ahead of me. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.